Okay, guys, we're going to go over so much uh, very, very quickly in this message. Um, guys, this message is like the end of the book. It's like later chapters in the book, okay? So um, the earlier chapters are earlier messages um, I've already shared on my channel, okay? I'll be referencing them throughout this message, but I strongly, strongly encourage you, even before you watch this, most of what I'm going to say you've never heard before, okay? So you need to familiarize yourself with some of the concepts that I'm going to um, tell you because most likely you've never heard of anything um, you're about to hear. So you need to familiarize yourself. You need to get kind of used to it. In this, we're going to um, go over a census of the great army. What happens is the, the people are divided up in groups um, and tribes. We're going to see many tribes, we're going to see many groups, many of which we've already gone over, so um, many of the other playlists and different things that I've already gone over, I strongly encourage you to watch again. In particular, please, please, please watch the shekel of the sanctuary, okay? And also please watch um, the uh, numbering of the man-child, okay? That will familiarize yourself with those uh, figures. We're going to go over those. We're going to go over two groups we have actually not explained to you yet up until this time. So um, in, uh, those two groups are the a third. A third is tried um, as silver and gold. And the way you tr number people is many, many tekel parrots. So uh, a coin or a shekel uh, numbers people. All right. So um, we've done many of these already. Now we're going to go over a full summary of those that are tried by gold. In addition to that, we're going to go over the, um, the additional army of the 12 tribes. Okay. So what I have is right here, I have our notes. We're going to go over our notes. Hopefully we have, uh, you can see them well. And this is something you'll need to study. You will most likely not understand everything I'm saying. Um, so I strongly encourage you, please get the notes, please watch the other videos, I'll link them uh, in the description field, and I really can't emphasize enough to please watch those before you continue watching this message, okay? So now I'm going to pause it, we're going to take the camera, we're going to look at these notes, guys, okay? Okay, guys, here we go, here's our notes, and you can see we're calling this the Great Army. All right, we're calling this a great army, and we're going to go over this. There's a lot of information here. There's a lot of numbers. So just, um, you know, bear with it. Some of you, when you hear numbers, your eyes glaze over and you, duh. But you can learn this. You can understand this. You see we have a coin here. In the top, we have scales. It says, you may not see it in the video, but it says, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Perez. This is the writing on the wall in Daniel chapter 5. Mene means number. So you number, number. Tekel is a shekel, and you can see we have a coin here. See, many, many tekel paras, you can see I've drawn scales uh, in this coin. It's uh, the Ethiopian coin. You can see there's scales on it. Now, what this means is you can number the people with a coin, okay? And that's what we've gone over. There's another message called the shekel of the sanctuary. And essentially, you use a shekel to number the people, uh, and you can determine the number of people based on a coin and based on talents and a talent is a measurement of silver and gold okay so we're going to get into that in this message but this is the great army now let me say this it doesn't matter who you are uh, it doesn't matter what group you come into okay you're going to be here on the earth through the trumpets of the great tribulation all these people are in this that are in this group that you see here they are all part of this um, army all part of this um, work that will be going forth okay and we're numbering them now the number we're getting is talents of gold and there's 10,000 there's 10,000 talents of gold this is mentioned a couple times Matthew 18 verse 24 the Lord forgave 10,000 talents, okay? 10,000 talents represent people, okay? Uh, in Esther 3.9, it says there were 10,000 talents of gold that 
Haman used to, um, you know, to, to try to kill the Jews. All right. So 10,000 talents. Now, 10,000 talents, when we convert the talents into people, it comes out to 207 million 600,000. OK, that's the great army that we're telling you about here. OK, that's what we're going over. Now, the order of this army is the order of New Jerusalem. OK, now this is we've already gone over the elect, the man child. And the 144,000 represent a portion of that. There's 127, 1,200, and the 144,000. Now, the 144,000 are on the earth. You see that in Revelation 9, verse 4, where the locusts cannot touch those with the seal of God in their forehead. So that's these elect, the first fruits, okay? These people in the order of New Jerusalem. Again, I have a video on numbering the man child, which I strongly recommend you watch. And then with that, you will understand these numbers, okay? Now, one of the ones we're talking about in this video, guys, that's new, is the 12 tribe army. Um, many of you may be familiar, but in the book of Exodus and the book of Numbers, Numbers 1 and 2, the children of Israel, when they came into the wilderness, were 603,550. These are men of war, okay? Now, this is what we're talking about. This number is a part of this great army. So yes, the, the believers in Yeshua, in the Lord Jesus Christ, will assemble in this camp of armies, okay? Now, the other one we're going to present to you in this video is 330 talents of silver. These are though, those that are tried by fire, or a third, okay? And this is 6,850,800, okay? We'll get, it, we'll get into the math later. And then, in Revelation... Uh, Chapter 9, there's a six-trumpet army of 200 million, okay? All these figures add up to uh, the 207, 600. Now, we're numbering the people. The, the one figure, guys, I'll tell you, I have not added or have not determined in this 200 million, uh, 207 million 600 is there is a number here of 323 people, uh, this, I, this figure I have not accounted for, so I don't know what that is. But the rest we've uh, determined, okay? Now, you may wonder how we came to this. Well, we take 10,000 um, uh, talents times 10,380s. These are the number of shekels in a talent. And then for every one coin, uh, or one shekel, I should say, one shekel ap actually represents two people. So then we have... Uh, we would determine the number of uh, shekels, then we multiply that by two, and that gives us 207,600,000. This is the total in this great army. All this great army will be in the uh, trumpets uh, of the tribulation, okay? Now, um, the one-third I want to explain to you is in Zechariah 13. Uh, verse 9, I will bring a third part through the fire. I will refine them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried. So this is the uh, third part of them, okay? Now I'll show you how we determine that. But it's also mentioned in Malachi 3.3, 3, he shall refine as a refiner, a purifier of silver. He shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold. And we'll see that there are 30 talents of gold and silver in those 300 talents of silver. Now, in order for us to find the gold and silver and number of talents, we go to 2 Kings 18. In verse uh, 14 is the, uh, essentially to give you the background, this is the Assyrian captivity. And what happens is something strange is the king Hezekiah gives the king of Assyria um, talents of gold and silver. Now, when he does this, he gives him 300 talents of silver, okay, and 30 talents of gold, thus giving us 330. So remember, we, we saw in Zechariah that it's a third. So 330 represents a third of 1,000. Many times there's a, uh, talents of gold are also measured by 1,000, okay? So that represents the third, tried in the gold, tried as silver, and tried as gold, okay? Um, 
And then what happened is something very interesting. In um, 2 Kings 18, 16, at that time, Hezekiah cut off the gold from the two pillars. Now, the two pillars represent the two witnesses. So what happened, guys, is the two pillars in the temple, he, he took the gold off them, okay? He stripped the gold and gave it to the king of Assyria. Now, what this represents is these two pillars represent the two witnesses, Jachin and Boaz. And when he strips the gold, it represents them, um, you know, being killed by the beast and lying uh, three and a half days. Okay, so we're going to do another video on the two pillars and the two witnesses. But what I'm, what I'm pointing at is this prophecy or what takes place with King Hezekiah in Assyria is a prophecy uh, in the end times to uh, determine this third, okay? Now, let's do the math. Now, we do the math for the third. We have 300 talents times 10,380 times 2, and that's uh, 6,228,000, okay? Then we have uh, 30 talents, which is, you know, basically just taking off a zero. So that gives us this 330 talents, which is a third of a thousand, 6,850,800. Okay, now this is, again, the third tried by fire. Okay, so these, the, these people uh, will be, uh, you know, part of when the Lord blows the, the um, seventh trumpet. When he blows the last trump, guys, all these people will be taken. The two witnesses are at the top of this pyramid. I didn't put them here, but they're at the top. And what happens is they hear a sound, come up hither. When they hear that sound, that's the seventh trumpet. And this whole group, 207,600,000 people, will, be, uh, will, will go up at that time, okay? Now, what we've accounted for now is uh, approximately, you know, this, this 7 million figure. That, now let's look at the 600,000. Now this is in uh, the census. And what we're doing here, guys, is we're, this is a census. Um, when uh, the Lord brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, he did a census. We're doing the same thing. When, um, uh, as well, when Ezra and Nehemiah, they did a census of the people. They added up a people. So we have, we have um, Cyrus's decree to build Jerusalem. That's what we're doing. We're building Jerusalem, and we do that. We have to number the people. Okay, so we have all these numbers of the people. You can see here we have uh, many, many groups represented. Now, when the children of Israel were in the wilderness, the Lord ordered them by, tr by tribes and by a certain order and position, uh, east, west, south, and north, okay? Now, as well, uh, New Jerusalem is also positioned this way with the living creatures. You have lion, ox, man, eagle, okay? And as well, you have the horse riders representing the military and the Lord of hosts, white, red, black, pale. So all these here, I have this as uh, just something to point out because when the children of Israel... Um, were in the wilderness, they were actually a representation of believers in the last days that will also be ordered in 12 tribes by these precise numbers, okay? And these precise tribes. So each tribe would have a, uh, a, a, a standard or a sign and a color. So that's what the colors represent. And then you see the living creatures, they represent a standard. Okay, of the four main positions, east, west, south, and north, okay? So what happened is you have men of war of the 12 tribes in 12 camps of men that were 20 years and able to go to war. Now, let me just say this, uh, all this gender fighting and stuff, um, even though these are men, these represent men and women, because in the, in the, at this time, you number the people by men. Men had the name. The, the men had the name, and, they, and the name represents that person. But the women also now in the New Covenant have a new name. So when God gives them a new name, they don't need to be named by a man. They can be named by the husband directly. So um, these figures of these camps of the 603,000 are both men and women is essentially what we're getting at, guys. Okay, uh, But they are 20 years old and older, okay? In Israel, pitched by standard, okay? They were led, if you look at Numbers chapter 1, you'll see they're led by 12 um, leaders, okay? And now these are actually the 12 apostles. Um, just like you see New Jerusalem has the 12 apostles at the 12 gates, you know? Um, 
And I have another video on that, on the 12 apostles. They will sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. You can see that these, everything is 12. New Jerusalem is 12. Uh, these tribes and camps are 12, but these are believers, okay? Um, Numbers chapter 1, we find these 12 leaders, and also 1 Chronicles 27 has these 12, okay? Then what happens is you can see here, I, I, I really encourage you to get this and study this, but essentially what we did is we put this order of Numbers chapter 1 and 2 and put the uh, tribes in the f exact figures. And this, again, adds up to the 603,550. Okay, that's right here. The 12 tribes add up to 603,550. All right. And you can see the tribes are positioned east, west, south, north. Now, something I want to point out, it's also on the notes here. You see the tribe of Dan mentioned. You see the tribe of Ephraim. These are actually a principal tribe as well. Dan is north, and under Dan is Dan, Natalie, and Asher. Ephraim is west. Ephraim is a principal tribe. Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin. Okay? Now, in these tribes, the difference is the 144,000 does not have the tribes of Ephraim and Dan. Now, I have another message on this. I strongly encourage you to watch in order to understand this mystery. Um, the Sixth Trumpet Army is listed in Revelation 6. The Sixth Trumpet Army is represented by just two tribes, Ephraim and Dan. And you can see that symbolism throughout their description when the Apostle John sees them. Okay? Now they are the, uh, where is it here, the 200 million. So there's 200 million of them listed. Now we're going over some of the others. Okay? So they're in 12 tribes. These 12 tribes are not the same as the 144,000. The 144,000 have the tribe of Levi, which is in the center, and the tribe of uh, Manasseh. But they do not have Dan, and they do not have Ephraim. The reason for this is Dan and Ephraim, uh, they both set up a second golden calf in each place. Uh, one in Dan and um, one in another place, which its location was the tribe of Ephraim. And again, watch that other video. We go over that, guys. Please, um, if you want to make comments on that, just watch the other video first, okay? It may answer your questions, okay? So clearly Ephraim and Dan are not part of the tribes of the 144,000. So they are ordered in a different arrangement than this. They are not the same. But these same figures are actual people. And you uh, may be in, in this tribe, you may be in Ephraim and Dan. I don't know. My, my, my role here is to do a census and to number the people. That's what we're doing here. All right, so here we have 29 talents plus 730 shekels giving us this total. And again, watch the shekel of the sanctuary. We go over how to determine those figures, okay? So you may be getting, um, you know, things the Lord is showing you or different things that are uh, giving you indications of where you are in this. I don't know. But what, what happens is when the, uh, the elect, the man, she's going to gather the elect, the man child, that's this figure here. Um, and you can see it's 145,327, of which the two witnesses are a part of that, okay? Now, they are the first fruits. Then the rest of the people will then be ordered in camps and ordered by these uh, figures. There's those tried by the fire um, of silver and gold, um, with gold being 30 talents, silver being 300, and um, as well all being ordered in the position of four, okay? As well, um, uh, I don't have enough room to put so much information, but the as well as this, the white, red, black, pale, the horse riders, there's also four captains that are part of the great army of the 200 million. Those are for a day and for an hour. Now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna, I'm catching up here on my notes. Uh, so that all this information, instead of watching videos and, and things, you'll have a book like this one. Um, and the book has all, all the notes, everything is in that. I strongly encourage you to get that. Um, and that way you have a, a point of reference on paper when you're, if you read and study this, okay? Because I know watching videos or looking at the typed notes in the videos can be challenging. So there we have it. Um, we, we have this great army. This great army includes the elect, the man-child. These are the rulers, the 144,000. Now, of course, in the book of Revelation, only three are mentioned by a precise number. We have the two witnesses, 
we have the 144,000 and we have the 200 million in the army. But what I'm getting at is there's other uh, numbers here, okay? There's the 120, the 1,200, there's the 603,000, 550, there's the 6 million, 850,000, 800, okay? All these are the other numbers. That's what we're doing this whole census so that the people are numbered as we enter uh, the apocalypse, okay? So glory to his name for this information. I strongly encourage you to get these notes uh, and uh, please watch the other videos. I'll put the links. We'll have links for uh, the Sinks Trumpet Army. Um, in fact, there's a playlist on that, guys, for the army. This video will go in that. But uh, I think this is this would be like part uh, five or six. I don't know. I forget. But anyway, um, that'll th that'll be necessary for you to really understand this. All right, because um, that Six Trumpet Army is a great mystery. People don't understand. But they are at war. We're at war against the Harlot's Army. The Harlot's Army is the fifth trumpet okay that's the locust army all right so guys let me know if you have any questions um but if you do ask questions i'm probably and i've already talked about it i'm probably just going to give you links to other things to watch because uh it can be difficult catching up with all the uh comments okay but please let me know if you have any questions if there's anything i haven't made clear um I want to make this as clear and simple to understand as possible. But uh, definitely get these notes. Uh, I have a lot more information than I've gone over in the video. But this is amazing, amazing stuff. So, um, guys, this is the Cyrus decree, okay, to restore and build Jerusalem. So all glory to Yeshua, HaMashiach, in his mighty name, we pray and we thank you, God, for all these things. Amen.